everyone, and welcome back to the Wolf Pack. I am so freaking excited today because I am joined by Bonds, who I am Bonsinator. I'm a family friendly board game and video game streamer on Twitch, and I'm so excited to be here. What are we playing today? We're playing Stalker. <gasps> hey, Bonds. Stalker is a stealthy co op dungeon crawler. So, Stalker is an adaptation of the video game where players take on the role of trespassers who are exploring an area called the zone. And there's also some strange phenomena that's taking place there. We start off here in mission one, where our goal is to rescue Dalek. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to look at our stalker's memento. It's a cute little notebook that actually tells us what we need to do. Wait, is this not cute? No, it's not cute. It's like a dark. It's kind of cute. <laughs> it's cute. It's kind of cute to me. <laughs> I mean, it is, but like, we got to go with the vibe. Okay. okay. Cute. And you're going to open up the small notebook called the stalker's memento. It's going to tell you what to do on page one, which is read to you right now. Rescuing Dalek. Apparently Dalek got super lost somewhere. It's our job to go through these really beat up, broken campsites and find out where he is. On top of that, we're also trying to avoid being caught by two different types of enemies. They are holding two different guns, also have a different type of range. One is holding AK-74 and the other one is holding a shotgun. So we have a long range and we have a short range enemy to deal with. But before we dive into what the enemies do, we also had to figure out how to exactly set up this map. How yes. do we set up this map, Bonds? So Stalker has mission boxes. And in the first one, you're going to take it out. And it's going to include some cards that you lay out on the board. You match it with the orange borders. And then you place the walls on top of those orange borders. The eyeballs on the board mean that it's a window or you can have line of sight, L-O-S. Your characters are gonna start in the bottom left-hand corner. That is right, actually. That's, that's, your players are gonna start in the bottom right-hand corner. And then we also have these fancy 3D terrain too set up. We've got walls set up. We also have some sun-dropped minis and then some sun-dropped mini terrain too here. Like, look at this, this is pretty- Is very nice. Pretty sick, it's crazy. So to add on to setup, each map is also going to have these cards and they blend in with the terrain. When you go to the sites that hold the cards, you can flip it over and then it's going to tell you like a little secret or you're going to uncover some mystery about the specific site that you just visited. So each one of those is going to have a card right on top. And then there's also loot tokens, which is your absolute favorite to go to. And then we also have a couple of things to show you. The red tokens next to each enemy is an Overwatch token. This is pretty much telling you that they are on high alert. They're looking out for you. And the last thing that you should know about are these orange tokens too. It's going to spawn different enemies and uh, have different events occur when you land on those spaces. There are other tokens included in this game and just set them off to the side for now. Now, before we dive into our character board, which is a huge part of Stalker, Bonds, there's a blue white miniature right there, like super sharp, very, very, yeah, I would not want to step on it. Mm -hmm. What it's, does it do? It's actually called an anomaly and it is a chaotic storm. And whenever you land in that space, you it triggers a bunch of effects, which has a card and tells you what to do. So to quickly recap, what is our goal for mission one? We need to rescue Dalek and escape from the bandit camp. My question is, how do we go about performing our actions? You're going to do this by searching each building and trying to find Dalek by flipping over the cards from side A to side B. You do this by taking a certain amount of actions. There are three actions total in this game. First one is movement. So there's two types of movement. There's movement for your character that's specific to each stalker that we have. And there's also movement that's uh, performed on your action tokens. So if you look at this symbol over here, this is a long action and the smaller tokens are a short action. So in total, you can take three actions on your turn and all you do is flip over that one token on your board in order for you to take that action. And one thing to note, this is a co-op game. So you don't have to do all three actions right away. You can swap back and forth. Ooh, us cooperating on a game? Mm -hmm. What is that? I don't know. <laughs> so this game is all about stealth, which means that after you move, you have to worry about noise because you'll make noise on the final space that you land on. And it's either soft noise, which are these orange tokens, or loud noise, which are the red tokens. So the orange tokens have a value of one and the loud noises have a value of two, which means that they're gonna be two spaces away from detection. So we have the noise tokens, which honestly are pretty similar to Nemesis, but Bonds, why does this matter? Because the enemies can detect you depending on how much noise you made. If they're in range, their range is on their card. For example, the bandit with a shotgun is range three 
and you made noise at least three spaces away, they're gonna attack. The first one is movement, but we can also take free actions. If you're in a space or have an item that shows this icon, then you can take whatever action that's listed there for free, like looking through a window or opening locked doors or finding loot. So that was movement and a free action. But then also when you're moving, there's going to be windows like literally shown in this terrain here where there's going to be a line of sight. Now, line of sight in this game, how it works is enemies are going to count spaces away depending on their range and they are going to look forward, they're going to look to the left, and then they're going to look to the right. So we have movement as our main action and then we have free actions on the side if we land on a space that allows us to use a free action looking out for that symbol. Our second main action is one of my favorites in any game. Also one of your favorites in any game, I would say, and that is attack. Well, Tim, the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna spot an enemy that you wanna try and attack. You're gonna see if you're within the range listed on your weapon card. You also have to spend ammo, place noise tokens on your space, and then you're gonna roll dice to see how many successes or stars are gonna hit the target. There's also a bonus success if you attack enemies that have their back towards you. When you attack, you also get to choose which body part you're trying to target for the enemy. This is how you go for instant kills with headshots, or if you wanna play it safe, you can also deal light or heavy wounds by rolling the wound die. Weapons can also get jammed too if you roll the symbol. So Tim, if there's like a bunch of things in my backpack, how do I get them on my board? How do I use them? Mm, so if you wanna switch out your weapons, you're pretty much your, your loadout overall. The third action that you can take is prepare. Here's how prepare works. So you can move any items from your inventory to your backpack, but whatever's in the backpack is not usable at this time. And then whatever's in your backpack, you can also move to your inventory or to your weapon as well. This is how you switch out your loadout. Now in our play area, we have this larger component here. It's a cardboard thing with some yellow on it. What is this, a dial? Yeah, so this is called a Geiger because this game is taking place in the Chernobyl exclusion zone. So the more radiation that we take, then the more damage that we're going to be susceptible to. Overall, that's pretty much the gist of how the game works. And then after we take our actions, taking turns um, cooperatively in mm -hmm. our actions, then the enemies will have their own phases, they activate through an AI card and we just follow a flowchart of exactly how that's going to work. For instance, enemies are going to check for noise in range. If there is noise, they'll move towards that noise and see if you're within range for an attack. When they attack, you look at their card and see how much damage that their attack will deal. And if there are any other effects, like for the shotgun, it'll deal less damage the further the enemy is. Players will then roll the blue defense dice according to their armor value in order to see how much damage is reduced. So if the bandit deals six damage, we're gonna have to try to reduce that damage down to zero or else we're gonna have to draw a wound card and place it on the bottom of your player board. Three wounds and you'll be in danger of dying. But if a stalker will get a fourth wound, they do get to roll a red die one more time and if any skulls appear, then that stalker will die. However, throughout the game, you'll be able to dress or heal your wounds from various items. Final thing to note, Stalker also has a binder where you can build out your team of Stalkers, hold various items that you collect throughout the game, and even hold different NPCs that you save in various missions. And then after that, we go back to our journal here. And at the end of every one of our turns, it's actually going to tell us what happened. So at the end Ooh. of turn here, it says resolve one of these unknown tokens, and then different events will occur and you keep turning the page and just continue on with the story. Ultimately, your goal is to make sure that you find the Dalek before time runs out and before things escalate. And of course, before we take too many wounds. So that is Stalker, a preview of how Stalker works. Bonds, thank you so much for joining us on the channel. Thank you for today. having me. If you made it to the very end, comment Geiger below. And let us know if you wanna see more duo previews having Bonds here on the channel. Thank you so much for being here, Bonds. And I'll see you all, we'll see you all in the next one. Today's stream. Video. Dang it! This is not <laughs> a stream. Close, this is a close, video. Close, close, close. Dang it! Okay. That's when you know. That's when you know I stream <laughs> more than I. Uh, okay. Okay, ready? Yeah. Now, Stalker is live on GameFound right now. You will see links to that down below. Oh, uh, what what is Stalker? Stalker. Let me tell you what Stalker is. <laughs> oh, I'll tell you. I have a long history of that myself. Oh. <laughs> Rescuing Dalek. Okay. So that's what we're going to be doing. In... Okay. <laughs> I thought you were going to keep on reading. I know. I'm trying to read. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Sorry. Okay. okay. Let's try again.
<laughs> There's no sabotaging other players in this game. I know. That's like, that'd be funny to say. <laughs> Keep it together. I like how I literally said you can't attack other players and you're like, okay, so how do you attack other <laughs> How do I attack you? <laughs> it was so confused. Hi everyone, my name is Tim right. Chuan. Some people call me Milady. And I take one for the team. I know I was kind of saying I was the best character, but <laughs> we all know, we all know. Who the real character is? Who the real bad mm. boys is. Mm. It's Paul Khan. Right here. I'm a live streamer. 